Welcome back, everyone. It's Stray Fay here with another episode of Harvest Moon Animal Parade. All right, we are going to be playing on Fall 11th. There's a, an event that we can't really avoid. <laughs> We're making so much money. Oh man, blue mist flower business is booming. All right, what did I do off screen? I decided I decided to play a few days off screen just to boost people's affection a little bit higher. I got Lucy to two hearts, so I get to see her two heart dialogue. Vivian to four hearts, Angie to four hearts, Dakota to five. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna see some new dialogue. All the sprites in the Harvest Goddess are at nine hearts. Uh, and I think that's their last dialogue bit. You can keep giving him more gifts to get him to ten. We have a lot of people that are at ten hearts right now. <laughs> There's just some some straggler boys. And then that's it. Wow. We're like, we're almost filled out. It's, it's kind of amazing <laughs> to see this all filled out. Alright, anywho, let's check the weather for tomorrow. Today is a cloudy day, unfortunately, but also doesn't really matter. <laughs> Oh, okay, tomorrow's gonna rain. I can visit the frog tomorrow. <laughs> I've been trying, I've been trying to make the frog like me. I want to replace the bear cub that's upstairs and I want to get the frog. I'm kind of worried that, like, it's just going to replace the bear cub upstairs. There's just gonna be a lonely frog up here, but whatever, you can hang out with the books. Alright, so what are we gonna do today? On fall 11th. Check our mail and it'll become apparent. Unless you've seen the thumbnail of this video, then it's like very apparent. <laughs> very much apparent. There it is. It's child's day for Heath. We're getting another rival child that we have to we have to contend with now. Heath is growing up and his child's day is approaching. We plan on taking some pictures at Simon's photos. Please come by if you're in the area. From Calvin and Phoebe. I decided to say it in Phoebe's voice. Cool. All right. And it's not... It's not Sunday and it's not a festival day, so we'll be able to go and do it. And yeah. He is the second to last child to be... Let's see. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. So Heath will be the seventh. And now we just have the eighth. I'm not sure when Jin and Nissa's child is going to be born. Um, considering that there's a festival on the 14th, and like, like it definitely can't be then. <laughs> it usually gets pushed off to a non-festival day. Um, and then, considering also that they got married on the 1st of fall, I want to say that He's going to be born on Fall 15th, which is, actually isn't that far away. <laughs> so I could do another thing where I just play off screen. I just like get everyone up a heart and then, and then talk to them and <laughs> show off what's new. So yeah, maybe maybe the 16th. I'm not entirely sure when he's going to be born. So I'll have, to, I'll have to figure that out. It'll work out. I know, I know I keep pushing <laughs> my proposal day, like... Little by little. Um, I could do it any time though, cause... Yeah, I, I got the Harvest King to nine hearts. I could technically propose to him if I... <laughs> if I wanted to at nine hearts. And like, I've seen all his romantic dialogue, so... I could just do it whenever. I'm just trying to find an ideal day when like, nothing else is happening. <laughs> so I'm just like, maybe, maybe after the last rival child is born would be an ideal time to do it. Because yeah, other than, like, once that kid's born, uh, like, nothing else is gonna happen in, for two weeks. <laughs> Nothing's gonna happen until winter. Might as well have a, a winter wet, a winter wedding. I, I bet my wedding's gonna be planned for winter, even though, like, no other events are happening. <laughs> That could really get in the way of it, but who knows? I, I don't know how the game decides when to when to make your wedding be. Sometimes it's like a few days ahead, like the the next day, and sometimes it's like really far flung in the future, like the next month. Like no no method to this madness. All right, what do I need? 
I actually don't need to give Owen any more boiled eggs because he's already... He's already at 10 hearts. I don't have to worry about him anymore. So let's just turn in everything but the decent egg into mayonnaise. Sorry, I get distracted. I'm, I'm hearing like something tap on the wall, like as if there's some like vibration happening. It's like kind of distracting. It's like one of my... I think it's like the amiibo plastic flag I have on top of my desk. I was like, should I put you away? You're making sounds. <laughs> You're not allowed to make sounds. Alright, chickens are done. Done and happy. Let's check on the goaty goats. And... Yeah, then, then, then the crops. And then we can head out and visit whoever's awake. I was awakened about. Hey, goat, don't be sad. <laughs> be glad. No sad goats allowed. Alrighty. Yeah, <laughs> so for today, real life. In real life, I've been trying to get all my chores done today. Um, I think I'm doing pretty good. I almost got all my laundry done. <laughs> Finally got my. Trying to like find a good schedule to like wash your bed sheets. Cause I hate like I hate living in a dirty house and I hate sleeping in a dirty bed. Like trying to figure out like I can't do it like all the time because I'm like working and sometimes it just, it just like slips out of my mind. Four weeks seems like maybe kind of grody, but theoretically you slip into bed while you're like clean. So like, hopefully no grody stuff gets on the sheets, but yeah, I've been trying to do like so much laundry today. <laughs> Pretty much all day. <laughs> been having the washing machine running all day, so like I got all my clothes done. Now it's just like the bed sheets and the blankets that are getting pushed through the dryer and in the wash. There's so many layers to my bed. <laughs> I was like, there's like the fitted, the fitted sheet. I don't have like sheets. We just, we just kind of have two quilts or like two big blankets to keep ourselves warm. I don't like bed sheets, cause like the thin one, the thin blanket, because I always just kick it, <laughs> and it just gets mushed. It just, it just gets mushed at the bottom, some way, somehow. I was like, and it's. Like it, it never serves it pur its purpose. So like as I as I got older and like lived in my own place, I just forsook the bed sheet. Like I don't really need the sheet. I just need warm blanket. Uh, good goat milk, shiny goat milk. I forgot how many shiny goat milks I have in my in my box. I might have to start doing this, <laughs> making a stack of shiny goat cheese. I have still have not calculated how much animal product I have accumulated for the sake of, uh... For the sake of shipping. I think it's all time to do, the, do that this evening. I've been trying so hard to, like, quickly play a few days so, like, I could get the next episode out. I've been on a- I've been pretty much on a roll with this, with Animal Parade, but it's been, like, consuming so much of my time. <laughs> Like, I like it, I just wish I had more time. Alright, I don't know why I'm in the kitchen right now. I need to do my crops. I'll just put this away. Kinda feel like... Boiling... Boiling some egg soup for Roy. Boop boop. Ta-da! I still need to come back in and like get all the other gifts done. All right, I got I got some thread that can be put away too. Shiny thread. Perfect cocoon. This is like a lot of money here too, with like the the little threads. Uh, shiny eggs. Te technically still befriending Chase, so I just need one of those. Should I just grab my gifts right now? I I don't have anything to harvest, so. I already got my sautéed mushrooms ready to go. And let me try to remember who I need to give gifts to. 
Angie? Uh, Dakota? Matt? Lucy? Need one for Toby? Uh, I think I got Julius to ten hearts, so now it's just Vivian that needs the roses. All these other flowers I don't need. Alright. Um, bu bu bump on Cata Root for Jin. Oh, right. Um, we have a festival coming up on the 14th, which is. <laughs> Wait, that's, that's actually a date festival. Never mind. I was thinking of a uh, harvest festival. <laughs> I was like, oh, like the harvest festival is going to come up. Um, I definitely need to, like, restock on Pontata roots for that, but hmm. Who did I go with the Moon Festival last time? Did I go with the wizard? Or did- no, I, I think- it, did I go with Luke? Like, we could do another episode actually on the 14th. We could go with, uh, the wizard. <laughs> Unless I try to ask the Harvest King. I don't think the Harvest King accepts dates. He's not about that life. I want to say, <laughs> I'm like trying to think back in time. It's probably easier if I like go into my playlist and like try to go based off pictures. Yeah, the thumbnails are useful. Okay, that's summer. And this is in fall. Oh my goodness, so many episodes. This is still fall. Date under the moonlight. Well, it was like this. <laughs> Oh, episode 51. Who would I go with? I must know. I went with Luke. I went with- <laughs> alright. So I could actually like go with- I'll see if the king wants to go. But otherwise I think I'll go with the wizard and we can see what his dialogue is like. On- when he's like a single person. Uh, is that all the gifts I need? I think that's it. Alright, let's check our fields. All the single ladies, all the single ladies. Yeah, I'm not sure if he says something else, like, when they're married versus when they're single. So yeah, it might be nice to see. Is she a twelve? We're still single and young. What am I doing? I am fertilizing these spots that I can see. Try to do this off screen. <laughs> I often have to look very closely. And then, yeah, I guess in the future when we do get married, um, I'll try to see if there's any difference. If there's, like, absolutely no difference, then I could probably just, like, skip it. <laughs> it's, like, just becomes irrelevant at that point <laughs> to see it again. Um, boop. Doot. So nice when I can see it while well, these things are still, like, tiny. Are you? I might have to buy some fertilizer too. Um, I've been using a lot of my shiny fertilizer. <laughs> Just to get these like random spots here and there. Whoops, I don't think that counts. Putting it on the floor, let the grass grow. Miracle grow. Has anyone like tried that? Like, <laughs> using miracle grow on like something that you technically didn't want? Like, does it help like grass and weeds grow? Like, how crazy- Like, weeds are already, like, crazy enough. They- they- A lot of plants can survive in harsh conditions. But, like, what if you get a weed and- You just give it, like, the most nutritious, like, perfect conditions as possible. Like, what kind of- What kind of monstrosity does it grow into? <laughs> some weeds are actually really pretty. They actually have some pretty flowers. And some are actually useful, like dandelions. Oh, there's a lot of spots here. Oh boy. Um, am I gonna have enough bags for this? Doesn't help that I squander a lot of bags just like testing to see the soil needs it. I'm like, oh no, it was actually, it was actually already dark because it was just an illusion of the screen. Yeah, there's a lot of spots today. They're just not. Dark brown. Oh my goodness. And it's Wednesday. <laughs> Will we have to call Taylor and 
get some fertilizer? <laughs> we might. Use the phone. It's like the first time I used the phone to buy something. Let's, let me see, let me see. Oh, we ran out. Alright, let me actually use the telephone to see if I can buy more fertilizer. Because I think that was my last stack that I just pulled out of my shelf and had in my bag. Because I was like, I was using it every day. First time I use this, Taylor seeds. Gonna oh wait, this might actually just be seeds. <laughs> um <laughs> Oh my goodness! Oh, okay, I was, I was looking at the seedlings like Jesus, this is ex more expensive. I can afford it, it doesn't really matter. Like what is that? That's like a drop in the bucket. <laughs> that is, this is nothing. Yeah, that's nothing. <laughs> I don't even- I don't even need to walk to any store. I can just order it via telephone. It's like- it's kind of like modern times, like... I don't need to go go to any store. I can just order it on Amazon. <laughs> and like a lot of times it's actually cheaper and like I don't have to use- I don't have to use gas and like it comes to me. I mean, like if you need it right away then like maybe not, but if you're willing to wait like a few days like, no problem. Just plan accordingly. Yeah. Amazon has gotten, like, so big now. If you had Amazon stock, you are sitting pretty right now. Da -da, that's all there. Um, I guess I can check my last field. Da -da. <laughs> They're also kind of getting a monopoly now, though. <laughs> I think Amazon's also getting into, like, selling, like, pharmacy items. Um, yeah, they're starting to get into, like, every, every category of life. So eventually they're gonna, I mean, they're already kind of a big monolith, but yeah, they're, they're gonna get, like, a monopoly. Because everyone's using them because they're a lot more convenient. <laughs> I guess my boyfriend's actually kind of happy with it because... Um, he, he works at an animal clinic and he's, he's also in charge of like inventory, so like if he can get stuff cheaper on Amazon, um, his boss, the, the doctor, <laughs> likes it, likes it very much than like trying to contact all these sellers. Uh, Alright, so that, everything looks pretty right now to the naked eye. I guess I'll water this real quick. It'll take a minute, but yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, doke. I'll water. That didn't take that much time at all. It's only 8:30. Um, what am I gonna? I'm gonna actually try to find. <laughs> Let's see. It's Wednesday. Where is Matt? I, I should track Matt. I forget where he's at on a, on a Wednesday day off. He's at Flip Fields. Hopefully, he stays there. Just wandering outside. Ooh, right. Um, we got another rival child that we have to give gifts to now. Heath. Um, I better get his gift. Better get his gift ready to go. Bum, bum, bum. So yeah, we've already established. I'll go over what he likes again, but we have plenty of shiny eggs. He loves shiny eggs, so we're gonna go with that. And yeah, we're gonna keep... We're gonna keep accumulating shiny eggs, so... <laughs> for the time being, so I think this is probably enough to get him... Get him to 10 hearts. Uh, should I put away my decent fertilizer? I mean, I'm gonna use it tomorrow anyway. And... Yeah, I think I'll have plenty of bag space. Uh, what do I need to do? Take a, probably take a dip in the hot spring. I haven't gone fishing in like a few days. <laughs> but I probably should do it today. Yeah, I've just been trying to, like, get to important points as quick as possible. <laughs> ah, nice hot spring. Kinda miss 
kind of miss being able to immerse myself in like in a lot of hot water. Do -do -do. Yeah, my bathtub is a lot smaller. <laughs> we don't even use it. <laughs> like our limbs don't really fit. Uh, so we just kind of use it for like extra storage, unfortunately, for like buckets, buckets and brushes that we use to clean the rest of the bathroom. Uh, just because we don't want to, like, put, like, wet, like, wet stuff back in the closet. <laughs> it's like, well, there's, like, a drain right here, so we could just leave it there. Just let it dry. Okay, he's, he's right there. <laughs> He's, you're going fishing very early today, Matt. Uh, I think I can just give him his gift. I'm kind of being semi-cautious with some of these people. I don't know which people are like at the cusp of going to the next next heart. But yeah, you're still at three. <laughs> there we go. Hello. Wow, this is my favorite! Thanks a bunch! My mom and dad told me you're really good at fishing! How cool! It's sad. You can't see the sun today. I- can you even see anything? <laughs> Your eyes are closed. Uh, oh, this is actually a good question. Where's Toby on a Wednesday? He's at Horn Ranch. He's inside. Um, I don't know if he'll ever go outside. So, yeah, might have to skip Toby <laughs> if he's in an inconvenient spot. That's fine. I don't think he said anything new recently. He's just talking about- he's at eight hearts, so he's just talking about, like, the type of person he likes. <laughs> and we see that dialogue, like, a billion times. NG, super duper early, let me chat with you. Hello! Dad likes clothes and he buys lots of them. Luckily, I get to try on different things. Actually, let me see your face when you say that. Like, are you happy about that? I'm kind of like curious about the character's facial expressions. Hey, wait up. Just. <laughs> Wait up! That's a good angle. <laughs> it might be like a moot point at this point. There you go. Perfect. Yeah, she looks so sad when she says that. Dad likes clothes and he buys lots of them. Luckily, I get to try on lots of different things. Wouldn't you be happy about that? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like... Also... Also uh, supports the idea that... Uh, Julius is kind of treating Angie like his doll and just like dressing her up. She looks like a doll. She has like a giant doll bow and stuff. <laughs> kind of weird. It makes me like, reminds me of like some horror games. All insects are making noise. I don't like insects, but I like how they sound. Alright. I think that's our four heart dialogue. <laughs> I wonder how much money Julia spends on clothes. <laughs> My mom has like a friend like that. She'll just spend clo like spend so much money on clothes and like not even wear it. She just buys it because she thought it looked nice in the moment. And then like she doesn't return it. She just like gives the clothes away. Like whatever. <laughs> she has so much money too. <laughs> she it was her plan for that too. Um, like her her solid goal was like to find a man with like a lot of money, and she has like no children, so like she has nothing to spend her money on. But like herself, well, not enough, not enough rich men in the world for all of us to do that. I kind of feel <laughs> feel bad for <laughs> for uh. Not, not technically her husband. It's so weird, like, they're, they're such, like, an old... Like, they're older. And, like... 
they have... Yeah, they're like my mom's age, but they don't have any kids and they're not married. They're just... But they've been together for so long <laughs> that, like, you could almost mistake them for being married. They, like, have properties together and stuff. Oh, well. I like getting together with friends and having lots of fun. Okay, good, Dakota. I love parties and festivals. Sparkles, there's lots of food. Alright, that's good, Dakota. You aren't talking about your parents arguing anymore. Just think about the happy things. <laughs> happy things in life. I like fall the best. It's cool that you can eat chestnuts and pumpkins. Let's give you an egg. Hey! Wow, how'd you know that I like this? Thank you. I'm so happy right now. What? My type? What does that have to do with you? Well, <laughs> probably nothing at this point. Sorry, I don't like to talk about this kind of stuff. I do, however, know the type of people I wouldn't want to go out with. Ouch, that's kind of harsh. <laughs> that's, that's so like you, Chase, though. But why are you blushing <laughs> while you say it? I, it's kind of funny to think about... Think about, uh... Maya being, like, not the type of person he wants to go out with. And he ends up going out with her. <laughs> Alright. I think it's time to go to Harmonica Town. Next! I think, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna bother with Toby today. <laughs> I think I just need to see his nine heart dialogue and that's it. So we can just continue working on him off screen. Alright, let's go to Simon's Photography for the main event. <laughs> there he is! <laughs> okay, his eyes are very blue now. They were. They were gray when he was a baby, but now they look very, very blue, so I guess he well, was like, kind of like a cat or something. <laughs> his eyes changed color. He, does, he has his father's eyes now, though. <laughs> Hello there. Today is Child's Day, so we're taking some pictures. <laughs> Our son's grown up so much. Hey, Heath! Say hello to Gabrielle! <laughs> Heath sounds like such an old school name. It's like some, some history books, probably. Oh, what voice to give you? You're a very <laughs> funnily dressed boy, but I feel like you're- You look like a gentle boy, though. You feel- you seem like the kid who would kind of get bullied, like, based on what he wears. <laughs> and the fact that he likes to collect things and is, like, kind of a nerd. But it looks like he shouts a lot. I don't know. What's up? I'm Heath! I want to become an adventurer someday! You seem very happy. <laughs> He does his father's little hat thing. <laughs> Wonder what ruins he'll discover. Well, see you soon. Don't let him wander off too much. <laughs> He's cute, though. It's cute when, like, kids get to dress up, like, however they want to be. I don't know, if you want to dress up like Spider-Man, you dress up like Spider-Man. That's fine. You do you. Alright, so he's probably gonna be hanging out in Garmin District. There's gonna be a lot of kids at Garmin District that we have to worry about oh, at the moment. Rub, rub, rub. Do. There we go. Hello. Oh, this is wonderful. You have good tastes. I'm so happy. Thank you very much. I got into trouble for staying up too late. My mother and father had different reasons for why it was wrong. Oh, well, that's kind of weird. Like, <laughs> they both thought it was wrong though, but for different reasons. Like maybe, maybe one was like, "You better go to bed," because I said so, and like maybe the other one was worried about like, "Oh, you better go to bed, or else it's bad for your health or something." <laughs> She probably was like doing nothing wrong. She's probably like studying or something. 
something completely innocent. Hey, fine, Anissa. You want to get rubbed too? You're already at 10 hearts. You don't need anything else. Warning. Oh my, this is very nice. Thank you very much. I'm so happy. Did you hear the melody? It was a calming sound that embraced my spirit. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, we have seven hearts with Jin now. He's, he's telling us things that he hates. If you have to ask me what I hate, I'd have to say cocktails. It's not that I can't drink, but drinking too much alcohol can be very bad for you. I've seen it happen before. That's why I'm not fond of it. You deal with like a lot of alcoholics from the brass bar. <laughs> I guess as a doctor, you're kind of like worried about liver disease, but like, like drinking a little bit of alcohol socially is like not bad. Just like going overboard though, and like getting addicted to alcohol can be ugly. Just getting addicted to like being smashed. Like you don't want to get smashed. Like don't get to that point, please. Oh, Heath, you're at the. Okay, you're not the tippy top, but you're just smooshed between these girls. I'm gonna guess he's at Garmin Mines. Hopefully that's hopefully that's not actually inside the mines, or else I'll be <laughs> kind of confused. I think I'm done with Harmonica Town people for now. No, to the Garmin Mines. Oh, doggy, you want some pets? I'll give you some pets. You want some hugs? I'll give you some hugs. It'd be funny if I like end up getting enough affection to like adopt the dog. Forgot how much affection you need. Oh, I'm still aiming for the frog. Ba bum, ba bum, ba bum, ba bum, bum, bum. Grab these mushrooms. Soon I won't need these mushrooms, so. Right, to the top. To the mountain top. Do, do, do. Okay, let's chat with you first before giving you a gift in case there is something at 10 hearts. There has never been something at 10 hearts, though. Hmph. If you are sad, I am sad. I want you to always be smiling. I sincerely wish this. Oh, <laughs> That makes me sad! <laughs> we're not gonna- we're not gonna end up choosing him. Oh well, I hope he still wishes us happiness even. Even if we- don't choose him. He just wants us to be happy. That's like true love there. Not possessive, but... The sky seems much higher. It must be fall. I wonder if he's at 10 hearts yet. Nope. Well, we're gonna get him to 10 hearts off screen, so... Do -do -do. Alright, now for the rest of the children here. Return to the Garmin Mines! Do 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 do. Bum. Alright, um. Hey, Roy! You're outside! Are you gonna say something new today instead of like something, something about hammers? <laughs> something about him like not being able to be a jockey, but he's able to make hammers. That's pretty good. You're still pretty young and you're able to like make tools already. Hello! Wow, great! I love this. I'm so happy. Thanks. Something I dislike? Wow, you're already at seven? No. <laughs> Jeez. I don't like traitors. What? I don't like people who hurt other people. 
Where is this coming from? I want to be someone who fights the bad guys. You've been watching too much TV, Roy. <laughs> Alright, that's not like exactly an item, but... <laughs> That's, that's, that seems like a kid thing, actually. Yeah, he's definitely been watching a lot of TV. Hello. Did you hear the melody? It seemed to be filled with an air. It felt, seemed to fill the air with mysterious energy. Alright, I gotta talk to you about your kid. Uh, what's my type? That's a tough question. I like all types, so it's hard to say anything specific. Well, you're a man of, you're a man of very taste, I see. I suppose it's important to have things in common, which is probably why you like Phoebe. Her, her adventures, her adventuresomeness, that, that's not a word, but okay. <laughs> Seems Heath can't wait to venture out into the world. I can't understand how he feels, but it still makes me kind of sad. Well, he's just like you, but you just want him to like stay by your side. So, let's yeah, that's like being a parent. <laughs> You want to keep them safe by your side, but they want to do their own thing. Not sure if he gets it from me or my wife, but we've been- we've got a very inquisitive child. Not sure if it's good or bad yet, but I'm afraid he'll wander off and hurt himself. <laughs> That's exactly what Barbara- well, mostly Simon was worried about Phoebe hurting herself. I mean, like, she went to the mines a lot. She could have, like, got caved in. And got seriously hurt. Children have a different perspective. We can look at the same thing so differently. Are you doing well? I mean, that seems like three things that he said about his child. Never seen trees with leaves that turn so red before. Yeah, me either. I don't think the trees around my house, they just kind of turn yellow and fall off and then they just turn dead brown. Uh, Alright, let's, let's give you a cocktail. There you go. Your affection, his affection is going up really fast from these cocktails. The great cocktails give him like plus 20 points. So he's gonna like probably whoosh into like nine hearts soon. Alright, where's Phoebe? Where's Heath? <laughs> Maybe I should have like kept him on the tracker. He might actually be inside the mines. Oh, he's inside the general store. Alright, that, that makes it easy to, for him to be able to find him. Hi Phoebe, let's talk about your kid. Hello! Time is something that's completely impartial. Seen this enough? I just heard a beautiful melody, felt it resonate in my heart. Lately, I think Heath has become more and more like Calvin. It wouldn't surprise me if he told me he was going off to check out some ancient ruins. Now that he can talk, all he does is ask why about everything. But why? <laughs> That's always kind of an annoying question with kids. You're just like trying to explain the best you can, and then, like you're just sick of explaining things or just like don't know the answer. But why? Someday, I someday I think they do it just to annoy you. It's good that he's curious, but it's a little tough to handle. I know it might like get on your nerves after a bit. I get worried when Calvin goes out with Heath without saying anything to me. Maybe I'm just paranoid though. Now you know how your dad feels, Phoebe. <laughs> Every time you walk off without saying anything. How the tables have turned. It's not too hot, it's not too cold. It's a laid back sort of day. Alright. Yeah, now Phoebe knows how Simon feels. Probably doesn't put two and two together though. Hey! Put his bed there. I also kind of noticed, like, with the crib when the crib was here, <laughs> like when and like the the shelf was there. There was like actually like glass bottles on the shelf. It's like probably shouldn't put that next to a baby that could potentially climb. Oh, like they have more gas tanks here. This is totally safe for a child. <laughs> AKA, this is not a safe place for a child. Oh boy, look at all these hazards, Heath. I'm surprised you made it to like this far. <laughs> Surprised you haven't haven't had an accident yet. Is that why you have that helmet? <laughs> to keep you safe. Alright, so we're gonna give him a shining egg. Um 
just to go over again, other gifts he likes. He also likes shining mayonnaise. Um, it's just a shining egg with extra steps. <laughs> um, he likes shining duck eggs, so I might give him those, like, as we get them. Once, like, Chase doesn't really need them anymore. Um, he also likes chocolate bananas, which you could buy at Toucan Island Inn. Um, fairly easy enough, so you could just buy a stack if you need it, and yeah, so if you don't have any chickens, that's like a pretty good option. Just get a stack of choco bananas. He also likes fugue mushrooms, which you can get out of the fugue forest, but kind of inconvenient because you get you only get one a day. They're free, but you only get one a day, and that's a lot of walking to do to get one mushroom. Um, he likes shining honey, which... Can I buy that from the store? I don't know. <laughs> I keep forgetting where I get shiny honey. It's just kind of hard to get it from flowers, because, like, if you fertilize your field all the way, you just get royal jelly, so getting shiny honey is kind of difficult. And then other than that, he loves pancakes and spaghetti carbonara. Those... too many ingredients. Too many ingredients, so it's going with the easy option. Shining chicken egg is probably the easiest for me. Hello! Yay! I love this! Thank you! I don't know what voice to give him, so I'm just kinda- I'm just trying to, like, be super excited. Cause he seems like a super excitable child. Um, um... I'm Heath! Nice to meet you! Uh, hiya! You can hear lots of insects at night in the fall. Wonder where they all are. You gonna find them? <laughs> you gonna bring back a bunch of bugs? That's like a thing I did as a child. Like, I wanted like little like bug cages, but I never got them as a child. So I would just like poke holes in jars, poke air holes <laughs> in jars and like try to collect bugs that way. I had a few pet bugs. I had like some pet tomato worms and then my grandma, my yaya, killed them <laughs> by putting them outside in the winter and <laughs> <laughs> the thing that she said, I found them like later and they were like all frozen to death. I was like devastated. And like the thing she said, she's like, oh, oh, they're, they're playing. They're playing. I was like, they're not playing. They're dead. <laughs> like, what kind of excuse is that? I think I also had like a pet snail in a jar. And I think she tried to put it in the garbage. And like, I was like devastated because like I couldn't. Like, the jar was empty, she tried to get rid of it, and, like, weeks later, I found the snail. Like, lo and behold, like, it crawled out of the garbage and, like, was actually eating some of my books. <laughs> like, oh. Well, yeah, didn't know that snails eat books until, until then. Did you hear the melody? That was awesome. I didn't really know what snails ate back then, so I just, like, kind of gathered a bunch of plants from outside to see what it would eat. I guess books was like a source of fiber. I don't know how much nutrition is in a book. My type? I think those I being well, th I think those that I begin to like become my type. Sorry, I'm not very good at these kind of things. <laughs> he likes everyone. <laughs> everyone is Luke's type. Uh, I guess like Selena. Caught his eye. What was that? That has eight heart dialogue. Oh, he just needs two more hearts. Alright, everything's kind of coming together now. It's kind of nice. Cool. Alright, uh, yeah, so we got Luke. Not Luke. Luke Jr. <laughs> Lucy in the back. Rub, rub, rub. Rub, rub, rub. Aloha! Hey, I love this! How'd you know? I'm so happy, thank you. I hear that you can do a cool trick. Will you show me sometime? It's cloudy, it makes me tired. Come out, sun! Alright, Jesus. That, that was her two heart dialogue. Soon! I have to be careful with Lucy. I'm gonna get her to three hearts soon and then we'll gather her wish up. Heath is still fresh. Fresh meat. <laughs> Alright, now it's just... Now it's just all the sprites. Where 
herbs. <laughs> Soon I won't need these herbs. Well, I guess technically. <laughs> technically I have a use for, for herbal tea later on. I should probably be riding my animal. I guess I'll chat with these guys first. They all, they're all, all at nine hearts and they have new things to say. Hello! I want to be rowdy and have fun all the time. I'm a sprite after all. We may disagree sometimes, but in the end we all want to be together. Yeah, <laughs> alright. Happy camaraderie here it seems like at nine hearts. Why hello! If everyone is happy, then we're happy! It's calm when the goddess is around. I want this to last. Oh, their peace. This is their ultimate peace now. Hopefully the goddess doesn't get in trouble again and... Like, <laughs> her powers start waning again. Hello! We're harvest sprites. We're born like this and we stay like this forever. We live happy lives. Yeah, that's kind of awesome. You're immortal. I don't know, like... How much will you have? <laughs> like, you gotta have a simple mindset. They're not like after world domination. Like, their whole goal in life is to support the goddess. Hello! We're harvest sprites. We live with nature. We work together. We can accomplish anything. <laughs> All this dialogue seems like very Power Ranger like. Oh, yeah, let's go! Harvest sprites assemble! Go, go, Harvest Bright Rangers! Na, 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 na. Um, hello. There he's still talking about that flippin' melody. I have a lot of sad memories that make me cry. But it's also good to cry when you're happy. Those tears are good for you. Oh, great. That, that's gonna be Edge's last dialogue bit. Talking about... Talking about crying. Ugh. That kind of makes me sad. I, I, I miss, I miss the dialogue bit of him, uh, just sitting with the wizard and him teaching him about the stars. Kind of lame. The nine heart dialogue is kind of lame, but I don't know. It's like their ultimate happy dialogue. They're just, they're just happy being sprites. All right, goddess, what do you say at nine hearts? There are many hopes and feelings that one has during their lifetime. I wish people could live without sadness, but with happiness only. Yeah, that's, that seemed very goddess-like. Although some people- you need like some, like, hardship in your life. Or maybe not hardship, but you need purpose. I've seen this, like, themes in like a lot of the books. Or seemingly, like, people have like such happy lives, but like, they're actually kind of empty, because like, they have nothing to work towards, but like, Maybe, like, the theoretical, like, perfect situation is that, like, you'll, you're happy, you have a purpose, like, you're working towards something, but, like, maybe you're not bogged down with, like, hardships that would, like, hurt you and hurt others. That would be kind of, like, perfect world, I guess. But, yeah, it's kind of hard to get everyone's perfect world together, because not everyone wants the same thing. And some people's happiness involves hurting others. Ta -da -da. All right. Do 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 do. Just give you some gifts, and then we'll be good. Hello, Colin. Your sautéed mushrooms are numbered. I'm not gonna be getting these for too long. All right. What am I gonna do for the rest of the day? Um, I don't think I can get another recording done today, so <laughs> like, it's not like I need to end the day early. Because I do need to skip a few days before I can start my next recording, so maybe I'll go fishing. Um, just, you know, catch, catch some fishies. The sun isn't very lively today. Oh well. <laughs> it is here. It's not in the rest of the world. It's a cloudy day. Man, it's getting dark in real life. <laughs> I can barely see things in my room. It's like only four. It's just what the sun is. 
room just gets really dark. It's weird, it gets like really bright, like the sun just goes directly through the windows. It's like the brightest it is all day and then all of a sudden it's like super dark. I can barely see what's around me. It's finally cooler. It's much cooler and much more comfortable. And you guys like- no. <laughs> I was like, can you guys kind of mush together so I can rub you guys at the same time? One for you. Hello. Oh, this is excellent. Thank you very much. I'm very happy. Um, <laughs> as, you, as you just cry. There we go. There we go, Edge. Be happy. Thank you. Uh, Colin. Nope. Colin is not at 10. Alright, maybe like a day or two, then they'll be at 10. Wow, Roy's already at 7. This <laughs> is kind of amazing to think about it. Yeah, they're going up quick. Uh, yeah. Luckily. <laughs> we're gonna gonna kind of run in the same issue when we get our own child. Like we're gonna have to like get him up a heart, like play a few days off screen, get him up a heart, play a few days off screen, get him up a heart. <laughs> but luckily, I don't think that's gonna be an issue because I was worried that like I would have nothing to do during the day at that point. But why did I? ride you out here. It's like I could just I could just warp from inside the goddess spring. Oh well. It's not gonna be an issue because there's actually a lot of child events with like your child and like the other rival kids. So there's there's gonna be something to do like every day I think. It's gonna be enough episodes to get them to ten hearts. What I could also do I don't think like kind of surprise surprise. I don't know. Might be a spoiler for some but you can get two kids in this game. Like, I could kind of ignore my first kid for a while. And then, like, get a second kid. I'm not sure if, like, the kids of Like, your first kid's affection, like, is involved with getting a second kid. <laughs> like, I could- I could wait to get two kids and then, like, kind of bring them up at the same time. Like, that might be better. We'll see. I'll have, to, I'll have to double check to see if uh, one kid's affection, like, I don't know if your kid's happy. <laughs> I don't know, I'm thinking of like, of like the the pets of the Friends of Mineral Town remake. For some reason, you need to get your first pet to eight hearts before you can get another one. I guess it just proves that you can take care of a pet. You deserve another one, but yeah, it's kind of a weird mechanic. Here we go. It's right on the butt. Let's go. To the island. Island of Sirens. I forgot what that was from. It's probably like The Simpsons. It kind of uses like... Almost like some Star Wars music, I think. No. I actually don't know. I don't know what they like parodied that from. Um, okie doke. So, well, we'll use the rest of our time trying to catch some barracuda. I think that's, that's um, a good use of our remaining time. Maybe <laughs> just get a little bit more fishing experience. We're definitely not gonna get to level four, but yeah, maybe if I did play off screen like those few days, but I didn't, so. All right, anywho, be right back. Okie doke. I think that's enough. What did I catch? <laughs> I fished a little bit later than than usual. Um, caught a lot of rockfish. I caught two barracuda, nine halibut, one octopus, two lobster, and four squid, and some swimming trucks. <laughs> Useless garbage. All right, let's head home. Gotta put the goats to bed. 
and then put my character to bed. So, yeah, I think for the next episode, I want to, yeah, I, I want to do the, the moon festival with another boy, so I'll do it with the wizard again. Or not again, I'll do it with, I mean, we have been going on dates with the wizard, like, this whole year, so I'm thinking I'm going to go with him again. I'll try to ask the Harvest King, just to check. Kind of curious to see if he can go on any dates. But yeah, for, for the most part, I'll just do the wizard. So, for the next episode, I think I'll start on the 13th of fall, so we can ask him out on the date, and then, yeah, it'll be like a two-day episode. Maybe I'll, like, finish my chores on, like, the 13th. Um, yeah, because it's, it's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be a, a morning glory, not morning glory, <laughs> derp, a blue mist harvest that day, right? I should probably get that done off screen <laughs> to save on time. So yeah, I think we'll start off like morning of the morning of the thirteenth. We'll have our gifts all ready for the day, and we could just head out and yeah, try to find people. I'm not sure what people I'm gonna be able to find on the festival day. I, I kind of want to find all the rival kids <laughs> to get them their affection up, and then the next day after that. Um, yeah, we're probably gonna have a kid being born, so I gotta account for that. Yeah, we're still kind of busy. <laughs> we're busy doing lots of other things, but then after that, like, these two weeks, is, it looks like it's gonna be a big old blank. Surely you must play on Julius's birthday. <laughs> um, let's put some stuff away. I guess I can keep these swim trunks. Cosmos didn't get to give you out. Be able to give you out tomorrow, though. Uh, where are my herbs? My herbs are over here. I also need to sell my rockfish and these halibut because I don't really have space for them. And blueberries. And do, 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 do. Mushrooms. Oh. Uh, yes. Put the squid there, lobster there, got barracuda there, and octopus there. That's a lot of rockfish. Okie doke. Yeah, that seems like our plan for now. I gotta be careful with Lucy. <laughs> Lucy's gonna get to three hearts soon, so we gotta make sure we get her her wish on screen. So we'll try to be careful with her. Other than that, I don't know how many people are gonna actually like go up a heart. It's gonna be like a day off screen, so nothing much is gonna change. Unless they're like on the cusp. It's like, it looks really nice seeing all this full. <laughs> all right, anywho, let's let's end things off. Let's save over what file? This file. Yeah, save over file three. Bye bye summer. Now we're all in autumn. Okie doke. I hope you guys had a relaxing time, and I'll see you in the next episode. Oh, bye-bye.